Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here. Now today, this is a video that I've kind of been wanting to do for a little while. This is something that I've kind of learned about a little bit ago, but I just kind of thought, hey, I'll make a video about it right now. This is about using a controller. Yes, a controller. Now this is not for people who are on console, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. This is for the people who either are A, just switching to controller on their PC, wanting to try out aim assist, or just try out a different way of input, or someone who's on a, who just switched from console. Welcome to the PC world anyways. Like, this is a big deal in my opinion. This will lower your input lag. Now, right now I just have an Xbox One Elite controller. There's a couple of others we're going to talk about. Now, we have the Xbox One Elite right here. Now, I think in my opinion, this is definitely the best one. This is the best Elite controller. I don't, I've tried a PlayStation before, they're not my favorite, maybe that's just because I've never really used a controller, I mean I have an Xbox, I, I never really gotten deep into the Xbox world, but here's the Xbox One, it's Elite One, here's the Elite Two, which if you can still buy the Series One, I believe they still sell them, do they? Um, It doesn't look like it, but... I've heard that this one can have issues and that they literally can break after a month. That's what I've heard from competitive players. Obviously, I don't know if they're throwing them across the room. That would be kind of funny, though. But who knows? Then you have your scuff. Scuff is kind of like that competitive, you're known. I hear people like your scumps, your nade shots, your competitive COD players really using these. And now your competitive Fortnite players. So you can have a PlayStation or an Xbox controller, which these are really cool. So they might look the same, but from what I have heard, they act a lot different and that they can kind of go past something that a PlayStation, typical PlayStation controller right here can have issues with and you can spec it out. Now, then you obviously have your DualShock 4s, you have your DualShock 5s or Dual Sense 5, I believe is what it's called. It's for the new PlayStation 5. And then you have one I actually forgot to link, but it's the Astro C40. C40TR. Now, this thing is $200. It can work on PC. But I've heard this thing has the lowest input lag available. Now, one thing that's cool is everything is remappable. So one day you want to wake up, you're like, I want to do it like PlayStation sticks. You can do that. Or maybe one day you want it to be like an Xbox. You can do it however you want, which I think is really cool. That's something that I feel like Astro really hit the spot on. It should have happened a while ago. So, this is the secret. So, you have... This is for your PlayStation people. It's called DS4 Pro. So, what this does is this emulates your PS4 controller as a Xbox 360. Because, as you know... When you're playing on a competitive, when you want that competitive advantage, and you're playing with a controller, you want to have everything the highest FPS, highest FPS possible. Well, this lets you do that. So a PlayStation controller, after you hit 144 FPS, 144 hertz, you start to have issues, and you basically might as well be on 60 because there's that input lag that you can feel. Well, this will emulate an Xbox 360 controller, which won't have any input lag. It will still run at the 240 hertz. So this is something I cannot tell who actually made this, but this is amazing. So, okay. So now here's the little thing. I like to talk about plugging in. I just found a basic rear I.O. picture off the internet. So a lot of people, and me included, when I first really got into gaming, and stuff, I thought, oh, USB 3.0, faster data. That's the one I should plug into my CPU. I should plug my controller into, right? Wrong. These can cause slight latency. They can cause some issues. I would wreck. So these USB 2.0s are the closest to your CPU through the traces in your motherboard, the little lines that you might see. Um, these will be closer to doing slightly lower latency. Now, typically, as a good rule of thumb, it's the closest up, but Obviously, you can be, it can be different. 
obviously look at your manufacturer's website motherboard and you can figure it out if not maybe ask somebody on like a discord or a forum or something all right so i have my xbox one elite already hooked up right here so i have it have it in one of these ports because i have my keyboard and mouse in the top two because i'm not a controller player but obviously if you really are a true diehard controller player plug it into the top so now what we're going to do is we have a program called x input test fourth so this is actually something i found online i can x it's just type in controller polling rate tester i believe is what it is. Yes. There's one for an Xbox 360. But I have this one. I will link it down below. So you have to unzip it. Use 7-zip if you don't have it. It'll work with anything, though. I just recommend 7-zip. I recommend the 4,000 samples. So why is it that I don't have an Xbox 360? One second, guys. All right, guys. I'm back. Sorry about that. Just got a little... It got confused. I just had to replug it. So now we're going to go into X input test. I recommend the 4,000 just so you can get the most accurate. You can do the 1,000 or 2,000, but I recommend the 1,000. So just move your left stick. So all you got to do, I hit one of my back paddles. But anyways, you just go like that. You can see this. Now, this is about 7.5 milliseconds. You can see that right there. You have that one one where I kind of stop my stick. All right, so now we're going to look up something. Now, I already have it on my desktop, but I want to explain it to you guys. So you can type in sweet, sweet low mouse, sorry, overclocking drivers. And it's the Lord of Mice slash, I don't know, USB my. So if you have ever overclocked a mouse, overclocked a keyboard, something like that to increase the polling rate, this is what that is. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the code button, download as a zip. So this basically will just overclock your USB ports to a polling rate that you set. This is not actually overclocking your controller. You're not actually going to hurt your controller through this. So now what we're going to do is, you see, we have this, but we can just close this for now. Now, you're going to have to unzip it. Now, it's the master file. So this is, you open it, and you'll see this will be closed like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to extract the files. You're going to hit OK. Then you're going to open it. Now, this is a signed driver. This will not get you banned from competitive games. No one I know has ever gotten banned. No one has ever gotten heard from banning from setting their mouth, so setting their controller to be right. I just like to let that out there so people are like, freaking out like, oh, no, oh, no, I'm going to get banned. No, don't worry. So, you see you have these INF files. These don't matter. That doesn't matter. So, 4 to 8 kilohertz, 2 to 4. We're not overclocking like that. We're just going to open up setup.exe. And you'll see these are my controller. I mean, sorry, this is my keyboard and mouse. We don't need that. So, where it says mice on devices, you're just going to click the all button. And for me, it shows up as Xbox Elite controller. So, what I do is you're going to hit filter on device. Install service, restart. And now what you're going to do is you're going to see this rate button. You're going to hit 1000. That is the polling rate that you're going to hit. So you're going to hit install service again. Now restart. And you see the B interval switched to 1. And it's still the Xbox Elite. You can still tell what it's actually put on. It's my USB controller. If you guys were very interested, that's the. This is actually on a different one, so it might it doesn't show up any different. But all right, so you can now close out of this, and now you really don't need it. So you're gonna get this, and sometimes you might get a little bit of like Xbox 360 controller not found. If so, you can just unplug your controller. You see, I just got it right there. Here, enter to close, and now you plug it back in. So what I'd recommend though is opening back up the software and then going setup.exe, hitting all, just checking to make sure it's still there. Because if not, definitely be having some issues or it might not even have applied. So we're going to hit 4,000. Now we're just going to move our stick. All right. 
So, this might look different. These are very much slightly smaller, but they are definitely more consistent. And in my opinion, instead of going from 11 when you stop moving it slightly to 8.5, and, and these staying more consistent is a lot better. I would rather have, instead of going to like 0.3, you're going to 0.46. It's not going to be noticeable. And it will feel more consistent and smooth and help your aiming in the long run, especially when you're on a controller. I thought about saying something about aim assist, but I don't want to. <laughs> so, yes. Now, what else would I recommend? I'd recommend definitely testing this out in game, testing out everything that you need. And, yes, I'm just going to check across some things, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I just had to check some stuff out. But I forgot to mention a couple of things. One thing I'd like to mention, do not use Bluetooth. Do not buy an Xbox Bluetooth dongle and be like, oh, this is going to be amazing. You can walk around with your controller. You can play in your kitchen. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So you can buy, do not buy one of these. Just don't, 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 don't buy one of these. Don't, please just use a cable. Please use a micro USB cable. It will be so much better. You'll have the lowest input lag, which is something that you're going to want. Now, with my latency, now, this is actually the, lo the fastest controller. This has about 3.5 milliseconds latency. I don't know if that's noticeable while you're gaming. It might be. It might not be. Who knows? So, these non-messed around might have some issues. Look, I didn't even notice. They're even doing this. Please, please never use this. Just never use this. Uh, uh, man, I'd love to see somebody play some tournament on that. But anyways, you see, obviously, definitely before you think about the lowest latency, get a controller that you think would be comfortable for you. If you want the Astro, definitely take advantage of the return policies on them. That would be a big deal. So I feel like if you really are going to go for a controller, you might want to get one of these two. I mean, you can still get an Xbox One. Like, you can get a Scuff Elite, which is an Elite with the Scuff insides in it. That might be slightly more expensive, but it might be better in the long run. I don't really know. I don't play controller that much. I had this for when I played controller for about three months. No, I played for about six months to a year while I was still playing on my PC a lot. Just because this was before crossplay was a big deal. Definitely don't get this. Just get a used one of these if you can maybe try and find a new one somewhere because these can break even though you're like man they got the grips on the front so that your sweaty palms don't no please just get a good one get a good controller and you can see better results i feel like that's all sorry that is all um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have not already Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit me, hit, follow me on my socials. Follow me on my Twitter. That's definitely where I'm at the most. Follow me on my Instagram. That's how you guys can get notified. Turn on post notifications. And you can figure out when I actually post a video. Follow me on Twitch. I don't stream on Twitch. Hoping to stream on Twitch soon. S stuff's been crazy. Well, not really. It's just I've been kind of lazy with streaming. I don't. I haven't streamed in a while. So, let's hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. My name is Chamber. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Ah!